It's not going to be a very good Halloween this year. It's raining. There goes a school bus. Just drove my kid to school. Happy Halloween, everyone. Roll the intro. All right, it's Halloween, so it's gonna be a really busy day, so I got very little time on my hands. So I'm gonna try and do a quick video about Halloween. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be mainly uncut and just a quick video with no real special effects, except for that one at the start. That I had to put something in there. Gonna make it more interesting. So I'm gonna go into my room here and we're gonna sit down at my, there's a green screen. This is uncut, I'm not gonna put anything on the green screen. This is, this is my office. It's messy, I'm not gonna show you the rest, but I'm just gonna sit down in front of my computer and we're gonna discuss uh, Halloween. So, and yeah, I should probably take this off, but my, my office is in the basement and it's quite cold down here. So it's too early in the morning and it's raining outside and it's not gonna heat up anytime fast. So, so as far as Halloween is concerned, I think you probably know what Halloween is, trick or treating. Uh, the kids dress up in costumes. Uh, they can be spooky or they can be basically anything you want. My girls dress up as uh, princesses. Uh, this year they're dressing up as a unicorn and a unicorn. I think both of them are going as unicorns. I think. I'm pretty sure they're both unicorns. I saw their, their outfits. But other than that, I mean, you already probably know about pumpkin carving. If you don't, it's when you cut the top off of a pumpkin and you dig the outsides out. I'll show you a picture, should be somewhere on the screen. And yeah, so, and, and then we cut faces out of them. So the kids would draw uh, uh, pictures on them and then I would cut them out because they're too young for the knives. And then you, you put a light in them which, and that's called a jack-o'-lantern. And I'll, I'll be putting all the words up there. I mean, it won't be completely unedited because I got to add subtitles and stuff to the video, but. Uh, you probably know about haunted houses. Um, maybe you might not know what trick-or-treat means, though. Uh, trick-or-treat means that it's basically an idle threat. Uh, the, the kids aren't going to actually, well, some kids follow through on the threat. Um, it's basically an idle threat, meaning that they will do something bad to the house or the person if they don't give them candy. But, like I said, it's rare. But you do have some mischievous teenagers that do go around egging people's houses. So egging people's houses is when they throw eggs at your house because they're upset that you didn't give them any candy or you gave them an apple for Halloween. <laughs> uh, or they might toilet paper your house or your tree. So that's when they take a roll of toilet paper and they, they throw it over your house and they throw it over your tree and it's all hanging down. I'll see if I can find a picture for you. Um, but... Some other things you might not know about are hay rides. You go on a lot of hay rides. Let me, sorry, let me turn my light on here so I can get some more light. Ooh, yeah, very spontaneous. Oof. Very spontaneous video. So, um, yeah, so hay rides. You get to go on hay rides. Uh, so hay rides are when a tractor will pull a, a bunch of bales of hay around and you sit on top of it and you have a good time out in the woods, out in the trails. Uh, but speaking of trails, there's also spook trails. So maybe you might not know what a spook trail is. Every year, the high school does a spook trail up at the high school. And basically, they decorate the hallways uh, with scary stuff, and, and they try to scare you. Each room has their own theme, and they try to scare you. Sorry, that's just the water pump, guys. <laughs> um, and they try to scare you. And they have, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's pretty much what a spook trail is. But this year, they have a spook trail out in the woods. And I know a lot of other communities do it, but I think this is the first time my community is doing it. So basically, we have trails in Canada. We, we love nature. Uh, we have trails all through the woods uh, that, the, that the city makes. It's not just someone going out there with a, a knife and cutting down bushes and stuff like that. It's an actual trail with you know, dirt and rocks and stuff like that that you can walk on and bike on and run on. But this year, they're going out and they're doing a spook trail in the trails, out in the dark, in the middle of the woods and no lights, 
So it's it's going to be quite interesting. I don't think it's going to happen tonight because, I mean, you saw the rain outside, so you never know. You never know. But those are pretty cool. So, yeah, so, I mean, uh, an old tradition that you might not know about. I used to do it when I was in, uh, when I was in Cubs. Uh, Cubs is just a group for kids to learn how to do stuff and get organized and make friends and stuff like that. It's, it's great if you're in Canada, get your kids into Cubs or Girl Scouts. But we used to bob for apples at our Halloween parties. This is back in like the 80s, so I don't think, I don't know, maybe people do it at parties still, but this is back in the 80s, so this is a long time ago. So you have this big bowl of water and you put apples inside and the apples float and you're supposed to try and get the apples with your mouth, no hands, with your mouth, but but every time you try to get them, the apple goes down, so it's really hard. So a lot of times you gotta put your face all the way down to the bottom of the of the bucket just to get a good grip on the apple to get it with your teeth. So it's kind of fun. It's a lot of jokes. And when I had hair, and my hair would get all wet. <laughs> I miss you. Anyways, forget about that. So yeah, um, egging people's houses. I've never did that before. Uh, I did get egged once. And toilet paper. I've never toilet paper in anybody's house. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. A lot of adults have um, costume parties also. Uh, so the kids get to have fun, dress up, have fun, great time. But the adults got to have some fun too, so they get dressed up. And usually, you know, the teenagers and the and the, the women, you know, they'll dress up as uh, uh, slutty devil, slutty doctor. It, it seems to be nowadays everything's just slutty whatever, so it's just terrible. So, uh, yeah, so... That's pretty much it. I mean, you've already watched all other kinds of Halloween videos on YouTube and learned about Halloween, and you probably celebrate in your own country, maybe. Um, but I just thought maybe those might be a few things that you, maybe you didn't know about, and I hope that you were able to learn something today. And if you like these uncut, off-the-cuff, uh, quick videos like this, and you get to see my bat, my... My green screen and my terrible wallpaper and then my recycles <laughs> recyclables yeah we recycle here don't litter so guys if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you like the video comment below to show some love you know i love it follow me on my social medias oh tonight Probably not any trick or treating out in the neighborhood today, but we're gonna go to the city market in the town into the, into the city, and the kids are gonna get some candy there. I'll take some videos. I'll post them on my Facebook, Instagram, and my WhatsApp. So if you want to see the kids all dressed up, and you want to see them trick or treating indoor, uh, which is terrible, um, but they got to get their candy. Um, yeah, go follow me on any of those platforms and you'll see them. So you want to keep learning guys, check out whatever videos are on the sides over here, over here, over here, up, up top, wherever I put them smash, whatever face to subscribe to the channel, not this one. And I'll see you over in the next video. Peace.